Sandra here. I am bringing you another recipe video. I had a request for the sauce that I use when I make my cheesy kale chips. I do have a video that I posted a while back um, on how I make my kale chips, but I'll just quickly do one for the, the sauce. So in the Vitamix, what I've done first is I've soaked one cup of cashews for at least an hour. Put that into the bottom of the Vitamix. Then I chopped one red bell pepper. I have one clove of garlic in there. And right now I have the juice of half of a lemon. I'm going to add a third of a cup of nutritional yeast. And I'm just going to sprinkle in some onion powder, a tablespoon or so. Then I'm going to add a bit of water and blend this up in my Vitamix. Okay, so this is my sauce all mixed up. You can see it's not too thick, but it's, you know, soupy, kind of slaw. A little on the thicker side so that will coat the kale nicely. I'm just going to try it just to make sure the flavor is good. Mm. That is good. I might add a bit more um, nutritional yeast and I might add a little bit of cayenne. You don't have to. You can also add salt if you want as well, but I try to avoid salt. But I might add a little bit in here. One sec. Okay, so I ended up adding um, a little bit more nutritional yeast and um, a little more onion powder. I put in a bit of salt and I put in a little bit of cayenne pepper. So let me try it now. Oh, that's good. And I also squeezed in the other half of the um, lemon. So it's one whole lemon juiced. You want to make sure you taste it. Um, if you like the way it tastes before it goes onto the kale and before it's dehydrated, it'll be like 10 times more tasty after you dehydrate it. Because I find that uh, the dehydration process really enhances the flavors. So um, you get really, really good flavor out of the kale chips. So anyway... I've got my big bowl of kale here. I'm going to pour the sauce onto the kale. I'm going to mix it by hand. And then I'm going to dehydrate it overnight. Probably at about 115 degrees. And then I will show you what it looks like in the morning. See you later. So this is what they look like. I've made two trays of the kale chips. And now I'm just going to put them in the dehydrator. Close it up. And uh, would help if I plugged it in. Okay, that's better. So I've got it at like 100 and, 115 degrees. So I'll leave it now overnight. It's 10 after 7. I'll check it in the morning. Good morning, it's about uh, 6.30. I'm just gonna check these. So these have been in there for, oh, almost 12 hours. Let's see. Oh, they look pretty, uh, I think they're pretty done. Mm, very good. Yeah, so those are done. Those are going to make great snacks. Let me turn this thing off. There we go. Dehydrator is great, but it can be loud. <laughs> That's why I tend to use it overnight. That way it's not bothering me. I'm sleeping anyway, so then when I wake up, I have lovely treats. So, I hope you try this recipe. Um, if you do, let me know how it turns out. Um, if you have a YouTube channel, perhaps you could make a video too. And any 
changes you make to it. I just, you know, I've gotten this recipe from you know, websites online and stuff, and I've done a few different ones, but the cheesy flavor one seems to be my favorite. And uh, you don't even, I don't even really follow a recipe anymore. I just throw, throw everything together and just taste it. Make sure that it, you know, all the flavors are there that I'm looking for. And uh, that's it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I do have another kale chip video that I posted, I don't know, a couple months ago. You can check that one out as well. That one is actually from someone's uh, website. Um... If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I like all the support that I can get on this journey. And I will see you all at the next video. Bye.